Alright, what's up there YouTube? So, today in this video I'm going to show you how to use U-Model as well as Quick BMS for Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight specifically is a Unreal Engine 4 based game that uses version 4.13 <clears throat> as of this current video. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, the tools you're going to need are Quick BMS and U-Model. You can find those on this website. For U-Model, you'll go to Gildor's homepage. If you type in, uh, in Google U-Model, you'll come and be introduced to this. And then the next tool you're going to need is Quick BMS. <laughs> now, why, if you're familiar with U-Model, why might you need Quick BMS for an Unreal uh, 4 based game? Well, for whatever reason, um, Dead by Daylight uh, Star Re Studios or the developers, I don't know who up in the office decided they were going to use uh, packing chunk methods or chunking methods for the pack files. Um, Umodel does not recognize these chunking uh, methods, so what you have to use is quick BMS to bypass these chunk uh, chunking methods. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use that specifically. Uh, so once you've gotten the things downloaded, you're going to want to basically open up quick BMS. Um, and I'm sorry, I forgot to also mention on Quick BMS, you're also going to need the Unreal Engine 4 script uh, to be able to extract the Dead by Daylight models. So if you go all the way down here, these are all the different scripts for different video games, um, for Quick BMS, that is. So you're going to want to scroll down here until you see Unreal Tournament 4 right here, and you're going to want to download that script. <clears throat> okay, so. We are going to basically click on quick BMS 4 gigabyte files.exe because this is a pretty big uh, game. And then you're going to select the script when it pulls this up. So wherever you've downloaded and put the Unreal Tournament 4 script, you're going to select that. All right, next you're going to find your Dead by Daylight folder and you're going to find the chunks that I was talking about. So I've already, f um, I'm just going to quickly key it in so we can get to that folder quickly. Um, there we go. Okay, and so you're going to go into Dead by Daylight, Content, Packs, and here are the packing chunks that I was talking about. Typically, they're called no editors, just Windows no editors, but you see how it says chunk. For whatever reason, I, I still just can't get my head wrapped around why they've decided to do this, but U-Model cannot recognize these pack chunks, so that's where uh, Quick BMS comes in. But the reason that I do not like Quick BMS is that Quick BMS uses... Uh, it um, extracts the folders and the content in a very sloppily way, um, as you'll see after we've done this. So what we want to do is we're going to select all these packs. So we can drag and drop all um, 40 of these. Well, technically 41 if you count zero. Um, and then we're going to hit open. And then just save. This is where you're going to save all the content that it comes in. So um, typically I like to put a folder here. I'll just create a new one. Um, usually I'll call it... Um, Usually I call it just uh, DBD to whatever the version that the game's on, 2.2.1. I create another folder inside here, and then I call it uh, Dead by Daylight. And then I go into that, and then I hit Save. Once you hit Save, it's going to go into um, the extracting method. It takes about 30, uh, I wouldn't even say 30 minutes, honestly. It probably takes like 15, 10 minutes to extract everything from the game. Um, you're going to come into an instance where it's going to ask you to overwrite the files in the uh, command prompt. You're just going to hit Y and hit Enter to overwrite any files, because obviously they're just overwrites. Um, you don't need uh, copies of the same files. So... Um, so yeah, you're just going to hit yes, and then once that's all done, you can um, it'll basically uh, go into um, that it's finished, 99% finished. There's some files that it doesn't grab that are, I think, useless. So once it's finished, you can close out of this command prompt. So I'm not going to go in through this instance. I'm just telling you how the process worked to save on time. So I'm just going to hit cancel on all this. So what it, the folder will look like, um, I'm just going to go back to Dead by Daylight. What the folder will look like is... I'm going to go into my VR chat here, uh, work in progress. The folder that we I told you to make, this is the one that I've made for my game. It'll look like this. Um, you won't have U-Model in here or the export. Let me delete the export for you. It'll just look like Dead by Daylight, the folder. And here's all the contents that it would have extracted um, once uh, Quick BMS is finished. So here's the, all the content for the game right here. So, once you've gotten all the content for the game using Quick BMS, you can drag and drop U model um, the files into your Dead by Daylight 2.2.1, and then we can select uh, U model, override game detection, 
Unreal Engine 4. And again, the engine version for Unreal um, or Dead by Daylight is 4.13. And then we can hit OK. And it's going to take a little while to load up all the content. And there we have it. So. If you're unfamiliar with U-Model, I'm just gonna. This is just a noob kind of guide with it. Um, I'm not gonna exactly sh tell you the command um, keys to extract things. I'm just gonna show you how to quickly use it. Um, you can filter through things um, wh for whatever specific folder that you're in. Um, you may even be able to filter through here. Uh, maybe not Trapper. Yeah, the, the filter. I don't really like the filter for this. It's kind of garbage. Um, but it does its job when you're in a specific folder. Um, so let's just say we want to extract one of the uh, killers from the game, for instance. So the um, uh, I'm trying to think of a killer that we can use as an, as an example. Uh, like this is what I was talking to you guys about um, that Quick BMS does. It makes a mess out of the folders. So there are going to be things kind of scattered everywhere so you'll have like a slashers folder here and then you'll also have one inside of characters slashers which that folder should be in the characters folder but that's why i do not like quick bms um it just makes a hell of a mess out of everything and you have to look through folders and folders to find the assets that you're looking for but um i guess we will just use How about we use my favorite um, Dead by Daylight character, Jake? He's my favorite camper. We're just going to use him as an example. So I just basically have to go into characters, campers, and hope to God that the models are in here. Um, so we have JP Outfit 01.U Asset. This might be his full outfit, so let's go ahead and double click it. Oh, well, what do you know? I'll be damned. So this is his full outfit then um you'll see that there's one of one lods um the vertices um the uvs and mind my cat he wants out of my room right now um so this is pretty much what we want to be using however i think this might oh you know this is a static mesh though this does not come with his skeleton so this is just a a, a mesh unfortunately um so we're gonna actually have to find another one so to go back to our little file browser we'll go to file open package <laughs> And we're going to have to manually find everything ourselves. So that's what's going to suck. But um, so here we have Jake's original head here. And you'll see that there's 107 bones. All right. So here's his bones. I'm going to hit um, tools, export, because we're going to need the head, obviously. Open package. And then we're going to go into the drop down here. Under accessories, we'll find his hair. So JP hair accessory 01 reference. So this is his hair, um, original hair to the game. I'm just using his original default outfit as an example. So we're going to hit export on that. Uh, let's see, we're also going to have to find his legs. So here's his legs. Tools, export, current object. There we have it. And uh, we're going to need his torso. So here's his torso. Expert, uh, export, current package. Uh, open package again. Um, we're going to need a scarf as well, and there's a scarf, expert current object, and that's pretty much it. That's all the items that would be used for his default outfit. And so once I've done that, I could pretty much close out of U-Model. I will not use U-Model anymore, but what it does is every object that we've exported now goes into this folder called U-Model Export. We're going to cut and paste it to the desktop, and there we have it. That is all the files for Jake that we're going to need. So uh, if you recall from my part one video, Blender, uh, let's see. I'm going to open up Blender very quickly and show you how to properly rig this Jake since he's going to have multiple skeletons. So we're going to go into our PSK add-on here and we're going to go into the U-Model export folder. Dead by Daylight, characters, campers, uh, Jake, models, heads. We're going to start off with the head first. And you'll see all these bones that are pretty pointless. Um, we're not really going to need all these. But I'll show you that uh, we're also going to need the body here. Let's see, there's the torso. And then, um, so we're going to go ahead and delete the torso bone. So we're going to select the torso. 
and if it says torso ref.ao, we're just going to hit delete on the keyboard. So we're going to delete those bones. And then the torso, we're going to shift right click on the uh, head bones, uh, control P with empty groups. So that way that this um, torso is now grouped up with the rest of these bones. So if I move, um, go into pose mode and I move this arm, this arm is going to be movable now with the correct bone weights. All right. We're also going to do the same thing for our legs. I'm going to smooth them out. And then we're going to delete the leg bones as well. So we'll go back into object mode um, where it says JP legs reference.ao, delete. Uh, select our legs and then shift right click on the bones. Or, sorry, yeah, shift right click on the bones. Control P, empty groups and these leg bones should now be able to be connected as well. Yep, there we are. Um, next, we're going to add the scarf. So, file, import, PSK. Mm, when they're labeled accessories, this is where it becomes really tricky. Um, let's see here. I'm going to delete this. Wait, did I delete the right bone? Yes, I did. Okay. We're going to bring the scarf up to where it usually should be properly seated. All right, this is where it's probably going to be seated correctly on the model in the game. Uh, this is where it becomes really tricky because this model does not come with any of these types of bones, so we actually have to weight this. If you recall from my part one video, um, we weighted the mask to the trapper. It's basically the same thing, but we would probably want to weight this to the torso. Um, this is going to be a really sloppy job at this, so I'm just going to use torso C as an example. So if we, um, let's see, object, we click on the scarf, uh, sorry, make sure that's in object mode as well. Click on the scarf, shift right click on the bones, control P, empty groups. Uh, now we should be able to weight this with whatever um, bone we want. Go into pose mode, go into weight, po uh, weight mode. I'm just going to do a really lazily job at this and see what happens. It's one of those trial and error things, you know. Right, I'm going to move the torso bone so I can see any vertices I may have missed. As you can see, it's still not lined up properly though when we move the torso bone. So that's why uh, in this situation, I'm just going to, for the sake of this video, so it's not too... Uh, tedious. I'm going to right click on this and then uh, let's go back into object mode here. I'm going to click on the scarf, shift right click on the bones, control P. We're actually going to set automatic weights. So that way, um, let's see if we move the neck here. So the scarf moves with it as it should. It's not perfect, but it's one of those things, like I said, you'll have to play around with in weight paint and uh, until you get the right results that you're looking for. It's a decent job. It's by any means not perfect. But see, there's some things that I don't like about automatic weights. As you can see, this is the tongue joint and see how this is connected with our um, scarf. It shouldn't be. That's why I do not like automatic weights with, um, with things like this. Like I said, it's one of those things you're going to have to play around with and weight paint until you get the right results um, that you're looking for. But we're just going to leave it for now um, for the sake of the duration of this video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say that's fine, right? Um, so now we're going to basically import our hair mesh now. So we're going to go into heads, accessories, top, and hair. Hair uh, usually doesn't have much of a problem. Um, this specific hair that Jake uses does not have any bones in the hair. So this is going to be a very quick and easy job to rig to our head. So I'm going to bring it up to his head. I'm going to try to seat it properly. It's probably around... see here. I'll try to make these uh, stick instead so I, they're not in my way too much. This hair probably sits right around like right there honestly. So that's probably good. Yeah I'd say that's probably perfect for where his hair actually sits in Dead by Daylight. So 
Um, now all we have to do is just the same thing. Uh, click on the hair, shift right click on the bones, control P, and then with empty groups, select our hair and delete all these vertices because we do not need them. Sorry, um, if you don't know, it's under this. So once you click on the hair, it'll be under this little tab right here. So, and then all you have to do is just basically minus all these vertices because we don't need them. This is just my way of uh, doing it. This is a very sloppy way and probably the incorrect way of doing this, but this is the only way that I know how to do it. So just follow an amateur, I guess. Um, okay, so now that this is connected to these bones and um, it has nothing inside of it, all you have to do now is select the um, skeleton, hit pose mode select the hair and hit weight paint and select the head bone so wherever the head is so this is our head bone right here this one right up in here and now all we have to do is just weight the hair la da dee la da dum da 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 a lot of vertices on this head all right we're gonna move the head see all those vertices we missed boom now we have all of them oh wait still missed a few Oh, almost got it all. And there we have it. So if we hit um, A twice on the keyboard and then hit Alt G, um, it'll reset the pose. And there you have it. Now our jig should be ready to go. Um, if we move the neck, the hair moves with the head. It does not uh, stay in only one spot. Again, like I said, that scarf is a really bad job, but uh, like I said, for the duration of this video, I could probably do a better job, but for the duration, um, this just gives you a feel of how to cur uh, properly rig um, objects to your bones properly, um, so it won't have any rigging issues. So, and there you have it. All you have to do now, um, like in our part one video, we just rescale um, our avatar. So we're just gonna delete these cameras. Actually, you know, I'm gonna use those as a template. I'm just gonna use the camera as a template. So select that object mode hit a twice on the keyboard shift left click on the camera so we're not selecting the camera and then just scale them down that's all you have to do and right around okay he's still a little too tall usually around there is probably the perfect type but it's one of those things you got to keep playing around with but yeah, and then after that, you just export them as an FBX, like in our part one video that I showed you guys, and you just upload them into Unity and you're done. So that's just how to properly rig an avatar um, from U-Model, so you guys kind of get a feel for that. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask me. Um, I'll leave links in the description below for both Quick BMS and U-Model, so you guys won't have to dig forever for those, but I mean, they're on Google. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one, guys.